Hello and welcome to this new video. In this video, I am going to show you that how you can create auto hide bootstrap alert. Might be you have worked with the bootstrap alerts already, but this one is special one because this is going to be auto hided as well as this is quite easier to implement. So if you are not a designer, then of course, you know that uh, there is a lot of work around CSS to generate customized alerts. Uh, for success or failure messages. So let me show you the demo firstly and then after I will go through the implementation that uh, from the very beginning I will do the coding. Uh, so let's see how it is looking. So once I am going to click over here then there are a lot of other uh, pop-ups that are going to be generated and get auto hided If you can click on the cross button then of course that are going to be uh, removed, right? So in the same way how these are actually working let me show you the code. So actually I have already uh, created the code but I am going to remove this one and going to uh, write once again for you. So if you will see over here then there is no code right. So let me generate once again. So here is the structure. Then I have a title. And I will also include the uh, bootstrap. So container dot text center. So inside of it, I have h1 tag. Inside of it, I am going to write here auto hide hiding bootstrap alerts, right? So one more button I have needed button btn class and btn dash uh, for example I am writing here primary right so here I am going to write here click here so let's see the structure so this is the html right so I have to include the bootstrap firstly so I am writing here the bootstrap and then after I have also needed jQuery so I am also going to include this one and I have also needed bootstrap JS uh, might be you have seen uh, the cross button so that is going to be working because of this specific JS and one more new JS file which you have to include is a bootstrap growl right because of this uh, those are auto hided right so these are the four CDNs that you have to include into your website web page and then after let me show you so this one is the specific structure for now so if you will click over here there is nothing going to be done right so here I have to write the JavaScript so inside of it uh, actually on button click I am going to uh, show the uh, uh, alert boxes so I have to write here the click event so in from inside of it I am going to write here bootstrap alert so this is the function that going to be called bootstrap alert and inside of it I will be writing the code so I have actually a function bootstrap growl and inside of it if I am writing here this is success message so let's see that this is working right now or not g r o w l right yes so this is working on the right hand side you can see that this uh, there are certain messages and those are auto hided right so 
so let's add some properties so that uh, the designing could be little uh, actually uh, there are certain properties that can beautify this specific alert as well as uh, certain other other functionalities uh, like if you are going to click here and you know if you are going to clicking over the cross button yes this is working and you can also stop it if you want right so here we have curly braces inside of it we can uh, write here type so for example you want success then you can write here the success then after we have offset so what does offset mean offset means for example you want uh, somewhere to show so at that moment you have to mention the position right and how much pixels you want to go from specific uh, position from uh, for example from the top for a moment and then we have align so we can write here center currently that is on the right hand side right and then after we have delay and you can say that uh, the delay is uh, three seconds and then we have allow dismiss so allow dismiss is true right For, uh, means once you are going to click over uh, the cross button then at that moment the pop-up should be removed in the sense that should be closed and then we have stack up spacing so what does that mean it means that uh, for example there are number of pop-ups that are going to be shown then at that moment uh, in between each uh, each and every one there should be some spacing so because of this specific property the spacing would be created right so let's see what's the output now Oh, excellent so now this is working right so if you are going to click over here then of course uh, the cross button is also working right now so one more thing that I like to share here is that uh, in some cases that uh, uh, the people don't want uh, this type of structure means one over the other so at that moment you can also overwrite it so how you can do this is for example I'm writing here five seconds and once again I am going to refresh it and once I am going to click here and right click and inspect so now you have seen that bootstrap growl have you seen this bootstrap growl class so if you will remove this specific pop-up then of course the new pop-up would be generated over this so how you can make it happen is for example dollar so here is the class bootstrap growl dot remove so using this specific jquery function you can make it happen so now if you will click then the new pop-up would be generated over the older one so this is quite good right so you can also make it like this so let me show you the documentation so that a little more detail bootstrap growl so if you will go through this then of course you will end up with a uh, bunch of other properties that you can also try into your website right so here are certain uh, properties that you can uh, implement into your website so that you could able to uh, explore it more right here are certain links that you can also explore so we can also mention type info danger and other as well so here is le body so what does it mean it means that which element to append to for example you want to append this specific pop-up uh, uh, to a specific uh, element then at that moment you can uh, write here right so these are the things that i had to show you actually today i have implemented this and i thought that i have to share with other people so that the other people could able to get the benefit out of it actually this is quite easier and there are a lot of struggle uh, people do who who are not a designer and who are developer and you know that at the time of development if you have to 
create the customized uh, alerts so at that moment we actually waste a lot of time uh, for designing such type of alerts so this is actually ready made that we can use into your into our website easily as well as uh, there is a small uh, mm, uh, script that we have to add into our website and of course we end up with a good result right with a short period of time so you can also try into your web page as well so that you could uh, get the benefit out of it and i have actually included only four more cdns which are uh, like uh, uh, bootstrap cdn jquery as well as one new cdn which is bootstrap growl so you can also include it and finally you will end up with a uh, fruitful result of creating a bootstrap alert which is quite ready made right so if you are thinking this video was fruitful then you have to share this video as well as the as well as like this video thank you so much for watching this video all the links of my video courses are below in the description which are absolutely free so in the next video we would learn new and wonderful things please subscribe this channel firstly to get the information of updated videos in the comment section you can write your feedback about the video and also write your queries if you have any have a nice day ahead